why couldn't Jubito use Kamui? A few days ago, I made a video called The Most Nerfed Character in Naruto. If you haven't already, go ahead and check that out. Basically, it's me explaining how Obito was super nerfed in the fourth great war. And I mostly agree with everything I said in the video. Everything except for one little detail. And I'm not scared to say it, I was wrong. A lot of times I do a video and you guys comment something that ultimately changes my mind. So first, thank you guys for the comments that you all leave for me. And lastly, before I get into the video, I want to ask for you guys to smash that like button and gently tap that sub button for us also if you're seeing this on tiktok go ahead and sub to our youtube channel and watch the full video and if you're not already in the discord y'all go ahead and join that it helps a lot and we appreciate it greatly now back to the video in my last video i go over the nerfs of obito and at the end of the video i talk about how jubito wasn't able to use kamui but jubidar somehow could but i've heard plenty of different explanations to this situation most of which i don't agree with i've heard it's because madara had better control as a ten tails than shiriki which to me is lazy reasoning i've heard that obito not having the actual nine tails or the whole eight tails inside of him was the reason he couldn't do things Madara could. But again, to me, that doesn't really explain anything. So at some point, I thought to myself, maybe this was just bull jive that Kishimoto needed to pull in order for Jubito to be beaten. A couple of comments later, and I finally realized how wrong I actually was. Let me explain a couple of important details. First off, the panel never says he can't use Kamui. He says that he can't phase through things, basically saying he can't use Kamui on himself. And this is because of the ten tails inside of him. Now, this makes sense because we know that the ten tails is immune to all Jutsu, except except Senjutsu. So using Kamui on himself is obviously a no-go. Cool, but why can Madara do it? Well, to get that answer, we have to note that both of Obito's eyes have different abilities. We know Kakashi's eyes are for long-range Kamui and Obito's eyes are for close-range Kamui. We also know that Obito is using his eye and Madara is using Kakashi's eye. Now, this is important because of what the eyes do. We see Obito's eye do three different things. We see it suck people into his eye. We see it turn body parts that are coming into contact with other things intangible. And we see it suck his body into his eye for travel now one of those things we know he can't do and that's the turning intangible thing as for Madara we see him using Kakashi's eyes which primarily creates portals that suck people into the Kamui dimension basically making it possible for Madara to do what he did he's not using Kamui on himself like Obito does when he makes himself intangible he's simply creating a portal and jumping into it basically Obito could have also done this so ultimately this isn't a plot hole and it isn't a nerf this simply makes complete sense Obito can't turn intangible because the tell beast being immune to all ninjutsu and Madara was able to use kamui because all he did was jump through a portal that he made and that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed go ahead and smash that like button and go ahead and drop a comment down below they clearly help and as always be sure to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching boot out